only at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. The complete Olympics from Australia, this summer on the networks of NBC. Last time on 21. The returning champ had an astounding $415,000. He was just four games away from two million until he met Kim Goldfeder. And that's all it took. Why don't you get excited? The next game ended in not one, but two sudden death tiebreakers. You're correct and you're our winner. Yes. You've been a joy to play with. Thank you. Then along came Mary. You're our new champion. With a secret plan to stay in the game. <laughs> Let go of my hand. <laughs> From NBC Studios in Los Angeles, it's 21 with your host, Maury Povich. Returning champion, Mary Balmacita Roy, has already won a total of $25,000. And now, she will continue on her quest to win the most amount of money ever awarded on a television game show. So let's see what happens tonight on 21. won a total of $25,000. She's going to play her second game for $50,000. But before we get to that, you all excited? Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you, you hold hard. You, know, you just don't let go, do you? No. Perfect 21. You know how to play this game? Mm -hmm. Six true false questions. Each question has a point value. Each point is worth $10,000. You can stop at any time. If you continue and go on, have one wrong answer, you lose all the money in Perfect 21. You ready? Yep. Here is the category, the 50 states. Okay. Ready for this? For go. one point and $10,000. The state of Washington is the only state named after a U.S. president. True or false? True. That is true. You have $10,000. You want to continue, yeah. Mary? Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. For two points and $20,000, Florida has the longest coastline of any U.S. state. True or false? False. Is that a guess? Yeah. But that's a good guess. Ah! You have 30,000. You're going to stop now? You're going to stop? You're going to stop? You're going to stop. Right. She has $30,000. By the way, you know which state has the longest coastline? Is it California? No, it's no? Alaska. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Whatever. right part. <laughs> All right. But you've got 55 thousand dollars and better yet you are defending champion and john kramer who is mary going to play against next the next challenger will be randomly selected from these six people michelle Worley, a sales trainer from shawnee kansas benjamin tridal an actor from beverly hills california elaine collins an administrative assistant from new orleans louisiana Dave Fowler, an aeronautical engineer from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Jennifer Bolger from Bellevue, Kentucky. Lou Zider, a welder from Wasilla, Alaska. And Mary, your next challenger is... Elaine Collins! <laughs> Hi, Elaine. How are you? Welcome, Elaine. Nice to have you on 21. Glad to be here. Delighted Good to see to be you. Here. Thank you. Thank Are you, you excited about this? I'm thrilled. I'm ready. You know our champion right here? She's already won $55,000. Why don't you shake hands with Mary? Why don't you go to your Soundproof Studios and let's play 21. Now, the object of 21 is to answer a series of questions. Try to score 21 points as fast as you can. If you get a question right, You'll earn those points. You get it wrong, you'll have a strike. Three strikes, you're out of the game. Once a game, you can ask for a second chance if you need help on a question. Now, a challenger's first game is worth $25,000. If they win, the next game is worth $50,000. Then $100,000. Then $250,000. Then $500,000. $750,000 after that. And finally, if they continue to survive, they will play one game worth $1 million dollars and they'll keep on going and if you can string together seven victories 
you will have won over two and a half million dollars. So players, good luck. And here is our first category. And always, we go to our challenger first. So Elaine, here is your category. Advertising slogans. How many points do you want to play for? 10 point question, please, Mark. 10 points, well, yeah. Sounds like you know your strategy already. Here it is, for 10 points. What root beer maker used to claim it had frosty mug taste and now says it's good to be thick-headed? A, A&W, B, Hires, C, Barks, D, none of the above. A, A&W. That's it? Yes. That's your answer? Yes. You don't seem too excited about it. I'm not yet. You are now. You've got 10 points. <laughs> Advertising slogans, Mary. That's your first round category. I'm going to try for 10 points. 10 points. Here it is. What root beer maker used to claim it had frosty mug taste and now says it's good to be thick headed? A. A and W, B, Hires, C, Barks, D, none of the above. Um, I believe the answer is A, A and W. Why are you so sure? Because I don't know any other root beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, because you're right. You have 10 points. <laughs> Elaine. Yes. You're off to a good start. You have 10 points. Here's your second round category. Books to movies. Let's try another 10, please. Another 10 point question. Here it is. In the book and movie, Silence of the Lambs, what was the FBI agent Clarice's last name? A Why are you smiling? I think I'm going to be happy. <laughs> All right, well, just play us along. A, Harris. B, Starling. C, Tobias. D, none of the above. It's B, Starling. And you are correct, and you have 20 points. Mary, you're off to a good start. Here's your second round category, books to movies. How many points do you want to play for? Um. I'm going to try for nine points. Nine point question. Here it is. In the 1999 adaptation of The End of the Affair, what kind of accent did American actress Julianne Moore use? A, English. B, Russian. C, French. D, German. Uh, uh, I'd like to call out my second chance. You want to call out your second chance? Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> I think he helped you before, didn't he? A. I think it's A. Okay, I'm gonna go with A. And you're correct. And you have 19 points. Now, neither of you talk. Both of your studios are open. In a moment, I'm going to give each of you a chance to stop the game. If either of you chooses to stop, then the game will be over. The player with the higher score will win. So I warn you, only stop if you think you're in the lead. I'm going to close both of your studios, give you a chance to think about it. This would be one close game, and we would have a new champion. I'm going to open your booths. Do either of you wish to stop the game? Well, well, I'd, I'd like, like to stop, stop the game. <laughs> you both want to stop the game? Yes. And we have a new champion because Elaine... You have more points. Mary, I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Congratulations to you. Mary, this was difficult. I mean, here she, she, she guessed correct. She answered correctly on every single question. But she had 20 and you had 19. And you both wanted to stop the game. So you're the winner because you have the higher score. But you don't go away empty-handed. Mm -mm. You've won $55,000. I want to show you exactly what it's all about. Thank you, Mercedes. Why don't you hold this, Mary? 
There's 25,000. Yeah, yeah. You want can I just touch it? Yeah, you can touch oh it. Oh, my God. Yes. That's 50,000 and another five, 55,000. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been fun to play with. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Come on over here, Elaine. Step right over here. Mark. Yeah, hit the mark. Hit the mark. <laughs> Stay right here. Are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, you've won $25,000. Now you have a chance to play the perfect 21 bonus round. Six true false questions. Each question has a point value. First question is worth one point, second two points, third three points, and so on. Stop at any time. Each point's worth 10,000, as I said. If you continue to go on, you make one miss, you lose everything in perfect 21. Here is the category landmarks. What's wrong? Okay. Well, I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> You're always thinking ahead. Yeah, yeah. So one sure. point and ten thousand dollars. Mount Rushmore is located in Montana. True or false? False. That is false. You know where it is? Uh, uh Dakotas. South what, Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> That's two points and twenty thousand. Right yeah, there for let's, the taking. Let's, let's, let's try one. Okay. More. Two points and twenty thousand dollars. The famous St. Mark's Basilica is located in Venice, Italy. True or false? St. Mark's Basilica. I think that's true. That is true. You have $30,000. There's another $30,000 here. Exciting. It's exciting. But, but not that I don't exciting. want to. Exactly. <laughs> right. 30,000 is just fine for I'm you. I'm happy, happy. Yes, you are, and you should be, because you now have a total of $55,000. That's good. Not only that, you're our defending champion. You're going to play the next game for $50,000. I know. So, when we come back, John, we're going to find out who our next challenger is right after this. While we play 21 here in the studio, you'll be able to play along at home. Throughout the show, we'll be giving away answers to our Internet Sweepstakes game. Collect all the answers, and at the end of the program, we'll tell you how 21 lucky players can each win $500 and be contacted by a member of our staff to qualify for a chance to appear on our show. Your first Internet Sweepstakes game answer here on 21 is Oscar. McDonald's hats match and win game based on Walt Disney Pictures dinosaur and you could win some very cool prizes maybe even a million bucks just match up the parts the dinosaur parts bring home the movie with all the magic let the magic begin the adventure. You're the best son a father could ever want. Disney presents Geppetto. Own it on video Tuesday, May 30th. There are lots of tempting computers out there, so how do you choose? This one looks appetizing, but does it include internet service? This one looks good, but does it come with a free color printer? Now a Gateway Essential PC comes with an Intel Celeron processor, a year of AOL included, and a free Canon printer, all for just $28 a month. So, come and get it. Call 1-800-GATEWAY now and make no payments for three months. Happy family, happy browsing. Find everything housing. Everything housing. Call WorldBanker.com. All in line. Happy family, happy browsing, find everything housing. Happy family, happy browsing, find everything housing. Google Banker.com. Online, online. Google Banker.com. Online. Tonight, Jack Lemmon and George C. Scott in the Golden Globe winning motion picture. Truth has meaning. Inherit the wind. NBC tonight at 9, 8 central. Breaths have to be crazy. We got a gunshot victim, single wound to the chest. Hell of a job, huh? There's a boot keep alive. Yeah. And these wide open. Oh, two's at 10 liters. Yep. Check them. Damn it, tension, hemo, pneumo. Give me a 14 gauge, I'm gonna dart him. Coming at ya. Yep. Here you go. You don't want to see this. Well, welcome back to 21, everybody. We're gonna continue. 
Elaine Collins is our champion. She's won $55,000. She has that lilting, lovely accent from New Orleans. I do. Yes, you do. Did you grow up there, too? Yes, born and reared. At home. Wow. At home. There, it's so, it, I, I the say that. The fabulous Crescent City. That's it, the that's Crescent right. City. I go there every year for the big television convention. I love mm -hmm. it. The food is the best that's in the right. world. You ready to meet your next challenger? Ready, more. Okay. <laughs> I like her attitude. <laughs> John, who's Gail's next challenger? I mean, Elaine's next challenger. The Call next challenger will be randomly <laughs> selected from these five remaining people. Michelle Worley from Shawnee, Kansas. Benjamin Tridel from Beverly Hills, California. Dave Fowler from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Jennifer Bolger from Bellevue, Kentucky. Or Lou Zider from Wasilla, Alaska. And Elaine, your next challenger is... Lou Zider! <laughs> He looks like a cowboy from Alaska. I like that. Now, you're a welder. Does that mean you work on the oil rigs or what? Yes, exactly. Is that what you do? Yeah. Even this time of year. It's pretty cold. That's well, it's getting warmer well, now. It don't matter to them. <laughs> I know that. And it doesn't matter to the oil. Now, why the two of you shake hands, go to your respective soundproof studios, and let's play 21. <laughs> Everybody, the object of 21 is to get to 21 as fast as you can. We're going to start with our new challenger, as we always do. So, Lou, the first category goes to you. 15 minutes of fame, and you're about to have it. <laughs> uh, eight. An eight-point, 15 minutes of fame question. What former coach of the New York Jets stepped down one day after he was promoted in January? A, Bill Parcells, B, Pete Carroll, C, Bill Belichick, D, Ray Rhodes. I'll try B, Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll? He was once a New York Jet coach, but not the coach we were looking for, Bill Belichick. Okay. You have one strike. You're still early. Elaine. Yes, Laurie. I called you Gail because there's a writer in New York named you Gail. You can call oh. me almost anything at oh, this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a $55,000 smile there. Oh, yeah. And another 50000 with this game. 15 minutes of fame. That's your category. Well, 10 has been good to me. Let's go with 10. 10-point question. Very aggressive. In 1999, eight-year-old Austin Payne from Oklahoma became famous for what? A youngest chess champion, B, first boy to join the Girl Scouts, C, saving his principal's life, D, none of the above. I think it's C, Maury, saving his principal's life. Why do you think that? It sounds familiar in terms of uh, uh, what I read and, and maybe something on the news. Well, you watch enough news, I guess, because you're I correct, do. and that's 10 points. Lou, you have one strike. This is just the second round. Here's your next question. Superstars. How many points do you want to play for? Let's try a nine. A nine. Which of the following was the first product that Paul Newman's charity organization, Newman's Own, sold? Was it A, popcorn, B, salad dressing, C, spaghetti sauce, D, lemonade? I think it was B, salad dressing. Is that it? I guess. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> and you have nine points. <laughs> Elaine, good start. You've got a Thank good you. start in this game. Here's your next category, superstars. How many points do you want to play for? Ten. Ten. You seem to like that number. Which of the following literary superstars wrote the books Congo, The Great Train Robbery, and Timeline. A, John Grisham, B, Michael Crichton, C, Tom Clancy, D, none of the above. B, Michael Crichton. You now have 20 points. Now, 
This is the end of round two. It means our contestants have a chance to stop the game. I'm going to close your booths, let you think about it for a second. I'm going to open your booths now. Do either of you wish to stop the game? I'd like to stop, Maury. You're going to stop, Elaine? And you just won $50,000. Play it hard. I'm sorry. Here's a thousand dollars. Nobody goes much. away empty-handed. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> well, don't turn around. You want to cry? What? I don't want to cry. Why do you want to cry? It's like a dream come true. It is. Oh yeah. I love this show, and I just want to do well. Well, <laughs> you are some kind of on your way to better than well. You've won a hundred and five thousand. Dollars. You're gonna play your next game for a hundred thousand dollars. You've got a perfect 21 bonus round. I know. Can I tell you something? You are the first person to visibly cry mm -hmm. on this show. Oh, but that's okay. Oh, I know it is. I know that <laughs> it is. Okay. You ready to play the perfect 21? Yes. Okay. Here we go. You know all about this. Six two false questions. Now gather yourself. You want to focus. Oh, I, I'm focus. Focus. Oh, I'm focused. <laughs> okay. I'm focused. Historic court cases for one point and ten thousand dollars. Judge Lance Ito presided over the Marv Albert case. True or false? <laughs> oh, that is so false. <laughs> <laughs> Two points, $20,000, here we go, here we go. For $20,000, the Miranda decision gives suspects the right to remain silent, true or false? No, they read their rights, that's false. No, it's, oh, it's true. true. Oh, oh, okay. Miranda we, we, decision, okay. right. You can remain silent, okay, I'm beginning right. in terms that's of okay. your reading your rights. That's okay. all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. You only okay. lost 10,000 on that. <laughs> only. Only, right. <laughs> For you. <laughs> but you have a new challenger. We're going to find out who it is because you're going to play for $100,000 when we come back to play 21 on NBC. Your second Internet sweepstakes game answer here on 21 is... Places. I don't know what you're putting in this dip, but I'll tell you... We're waiting for Grammy. Wait, where's Grammy? In London. We're waiting for the rates to go down. <laughs> You know, with AT&T's international plan, you could call now. But we want the low rate. You'd get their low rate all day, every day. To the UK? Wherever. She won't answer it. She thinks it's too early. Ah, uh, they'll be laughing about this for years. Oh, yeah. Great rates to the world, all day, every day. Call 1-800-41-RATE to enroll. With Palm Olive Spring Sensation. Spring is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Cool ocean breeze. It's springtime every time you do dishes. Palmolive Spring Sensation. Spring is in the air. Heading off to Hollywood? Well, Alamo wants you to have a blast. We're the official rental car company of Universal Studios Hollywood, home of Terminator 2 3D. Get a great rate of just $149 a week in California, so you can be closer to the action. Don't worry, drive. Alamo, the official rental car company of Universal Studios Hollywood. You're watching 21 on NBC. You still care as much as when you started this job? Care? I'm a paramedic. I get thick skin. Just when you think nothing gets you anymore. See a kid who's hurt real bad or a man having a heart attack in front of his two kids. Do I care as much as when I started? I care more. MSNBC investigates. Spring break. Parental discretion advised. Tonight only on MSNBC. Do something fun today. Fly. Kick back. Eat with your fingers at Red Lobster. Luscious peel and eat shrimp. 
all you can eat for only $11.99. Served steaming hot or perfectly chilled, just the way you like it. All you can peel and eat shrimp. But hurry, because this mouth-watering offer ends soon. Escape to Red Lobster. Why the switch from toast to Thomas's English muffins? It was the nooks. Crannies. Look, toast doesn't have any. Thomas's tastes better than toast. It may be the nooks or the crannies. Much better than toast. Thomas's. What a storm! Only one Thomas's bagel left. People who love bagels love the taste of Thomas's bagels. Golden outside, perfect inside. Hope I got enough. Thomas's. The suspects in the Wendy's massacre face murder charges in court. More at 11. We're back to NBC 21 and our champion, Elaine Collins. Isn't she trip? By the way, Elaine, if you want to take the tissues into the booth, you can take them in, or else we can just leave them here. I know, it could be superstitious. You ready for this? You're going to play this game for $100,000. That would get you over $200,000. So, John, who is Elaine's next contestant? Maury, the next challenger will be one of these four remaining people. Again, Michelle Worley, a sales trainer. Benjamin Tridel, an actor. Dave Fowler, an aeronautical engineer. Or Jennifer Bolger, a hotel general manager. And Elaine, your next challenger is... Dave Fowler! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you would, you would think that Dave works on something big, right? He's a big guy. He works on airplanes. That's right. That's right. I love it. Well, there you go. Why don't the two of you shake hands? Enough of this. Why don't you go into your respective soundproof studios and let's play 21. Remember, everybody, the object of the game is to get to 21 as fast as you can. And as always, we start with our new challenger. So, Dave, you're first up. Here's your category. <laughs> game shows. <laughs> That's your category. Maury, I think I'm going to take a 10-point question. A 10-point question on game shows. What is the longest-running game show in American television history? A. Wheel of Fortune, B, Jeopardy, C, What's My Line, D, None of the Above. Maury, I'm going to go with D, None of the Above. Why that answer? It seems like it's, um, it seems like it may be The Price is Right or something like that, and I just don't think it's, it's one of these. How about something like that? You have won 10 points. It is The Price is Right. 28 years. <laughs> Elaine, yes. you're playing this game for $100,000. You won $105,000. Here's your category, game shows. 10, Maury. 10? Yeah. You like 10? Yes. I like game shows. <clears throat> What's the longest running game show in American television history? A, Wheel of Fortune. B, Jeopardy. C, What's My Line. D, None of the Above. I think it's B, Jeopardy. Jeopardy? No, it's D. Oh, None hey, of the above. It's The Price is Right, the Should longest show. That. Okay, one strike. Dave, you've got 10 points. Good start. Hollywood Families, that's the next category. Mari, let's go for another 10. Another 10. That would give you 20. Very aggressive. Oscar-winning actor, Nicolas Cage, is the nephew to which of the following Oscar-winning directors? A, Francis Ford Coppola, B, Mike Nichols, C, James Cameron, D, none of the above. A, Francis Ford Coppola. Sure of it. You're correct, you have 20 points. <laughs> Elaine? You're not on the board. You have one strike against you. Here's the next category, Hollywood families. How many points do you want to play for? Ten. Ten. Everything's ten with you. Here we go. Oscar-winning actor, Nicolas Cage, 
is the nephew. <laughs> what do I do? I have to read it? No. You know the answer already? Yes. Oscar-winning actor Nicolas Cage is the nephew to which of the following Oscar-winning directors? A. Francis Ford Coppola. B. Mike Nichols. C. James Cameron. D. None of the above. Francis Ford Coppola. And you are correct, and you have ten points. This is the end of round two. It means our contestants have a chance to stop the game. So I'm going to close your booths while you think about it. And we would have a new chance if the game were stopped. Do either of you wish to stop the game? Yes, Maury. I'll stop. You're going to stop it, David? Yes. And you're our new champion. <laughs> Elaine. I'll be with you in a moment, all right? You are terrific. What a loving personality you Thank have, you. Thank you. right? Thank you. you want us all Thank over. Thank you. Terrific. I enjoyed it. And I want to show you exactly what $105,000 looks like. So come right on down here. <laughs> Melissa. Thank you so much. Here's $50,000. Another $50,000. $5,000. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's You've been, been terrific. It's been terrific. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, congratulations to you. Thank you, Maury. Thank You've you. been great. Thank you. Now then, this is Perfect 21. I want to explain a little bit about you. This is your first time here. Six true false questions. Each question has a point value. Each point's worth $10,000. You can stop at any time. You continue to go on and miss one question, you lose all the Perfect 21. Nobody is touching your, uh, your $25,000. Here we go. Here's the category. United Kingdom. Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. True or false? That is true. That is true. You have ten thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. I'll go for two. For two points and twenty thousand dollars. Queen Elizabeth's husband Philip is considered the King of England. True or false? That's false. That is false. He's a prince. Very good. Let's go. Going for it. Let's go. Another thirty thousand dollars. That would give you sixty thousand dollars. Belfast is the capital of Northern Ireland. True or false? True, Maury. That is true. You have $60,000. You want to continue? I'll go. I'll go one more, Maury. He's going. He's going for the $100,000. Here we go. Loch Ness, where the famous monster allegedly lives, is a lake in Scotland. True or false? That's true, Maury. That is true. You have $100,000. Here we go. You're going to have 150000 or nothing after this. England's prime minister is the prime minister of all the countries in the United Kingdom. True or false? False. True. <laughs> but I'll say one thing. The guy goes for 10-point questions, and he goes for the whole thing on Perfect 21. Now, this is a gambler. We'll find out who his next challenger is when we come back to play 21 on NBC. Your third Internet sweepstakes game answer here on 21 is none. These are great. I can't believe they actually came out. Yeah, they could have been a real disaster. Our honeymoon. It rained. It was romantic. It rained. It was exotic. It rained. Come on. With Kodak Max, you'll never miss a moment. It's the film that captures action in rain or shine. We had some sun. Yeah, the day we left. Sunlight, low light, action or still. Kodak Max, now with even better color. The Edge Pizza from Pizza Hut is back. It's toppings on top of toppings with no outer crust to fence them in. Try the works recipe or create your own. But hurry, The Edge won't be around much longer. The Edge Pizza from Pizza Hut, another one of the best pizzas under one roof. Well, I'm a pollen dust cat. He's a dog's elm tree mold. He's your classic mold. Most people with allergies have indoor and outdoor allergies. 
Among leading prescription antihistamines, only Zyrtec is approved to treat both year-round indoor and outdoor allergies. Talk to your doctor to learn about prescription Zyrtec. In studies, drowsiness was the most common side effect. Others included fatigue and dry mouth. Most were mild or moderate. Zyrtec. Lots of allergies. Just one pill. Let the summer begin. Memorial Day's here at Big Kmart. Get this huge 50-quart Coleman cooler plus a free 12-pack of Coke for just $17. This versatile charbroil gas grill with side cooker is just $129.99. Dive into fun with ladies' character swimwear, $10.99. Then there's a truckload sale of Scott Bass tissue and paper towels, two for $10. Everything from Memorial Day is here at Big K, so hurry in. Reynolds Kitchen, sir. We've got a report of a missing mom. She's in the kitchen. Bingo. Dad's at the grill. Mom's stuck inside making the rest of the meal. She needs to cook it all together in Reynolds hot bag. A no-hassle meal with no messy cleanup and no missing mom. Um, your website's going to be set up like an MMDS gigabyte with a rotating geostationary satellite. We feel that both you and your customer will appreciate binary riddles that, that users love. You know, that's part of the fun. <laughs> uh, then uh, wait till you guys see this. The technology will be obsolete by the time we leave here today, but that's okay because we'll come back. <laughs> Who designs your website is up to you. Hooking it up and delivering the goods? Leave that up to us. Of course you ship everything, FedEx. FedEx. Be absolutely sure. Big Blind Sunday, a decorated Vietnam veteran and family man. Or was he? I had never known him to lie to me. When he appeared to be the victim of a brutal crime, his dark secrets and hidden identity were revealed. Not one thing about him was true. Did he stage his own death and betray his family and friends? A real-life mystery. Dateline, next on NBC. Sammy goes undercover to dig up dirt on her enemies, and then the process plays a game that could cost her the man she loves. What are you doing, Sammy? And one story, two endings, and you decide who will be the father of Hope's baby, John or Stefano. To vote, go to NBC.com slash days and watch Days of Our Lives. This is Riley. She's moving in with her uptight aunt. My bedroom's off limits. I can tell that just by looking at you. Surviving in this house won't be easy. Oh my god! Uh oh. Something has got to change. You mean like besides that suit? The series premiere of MYOB, NBC next Tuesday after Will and Grace. Welcome back, everybody, to NBC's 21. We're back with our champion, David Fowler. He's won $25,000. He's about to play another game with a brand-new challenger. He's an aeronautical engineer. He works on airplanes down in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, John, who's David's next challenge? Maury, we're down to three players. One will be the next challenger. Michelle Worley from Shawnee, Kansas. Benjamin Tridel from Beverly Hills, California. Or Jennifer Bolger from Bellevue, Kentucky. David's next challenger is Benjamin Tridel. Oh my God! Get out! Get out! Benjamin, nice to see you. Good now, to see you. Now I want to tell you something, David. Benjamin, Benjamin has a right to throw his fist in the air because you've been here four times. This was my fourth time here, waiting to be picked in our random pool. I want to tell you something. I don't think you can win anything. I just Taking won you more. four times just to get up here. I'm a winner already. I don't there, care oh, anymore. Okay, there you go. I don't Why don't you shake hands good. with our current champion, David? Why don't the two of you go to your soundproof studios and let's play 21. Once again, the object of the game is to get to 21 as fast as you can. And we start with our new challenger, Benjamin. Movie action heroes. That's your first category. How many points do you want to play for? Hit me with an 11, Maury. An 11? 11. You waited this long and you're going for 11? Why waste any time to get to 21, Maury? Okay, here we go. Action hero Harrison Ford has appeared in which two of these Francis Ford Coppola films? A, Apocalypse Now, B, The Godfather 2, C, Tucker, D, The Cotton Club, E, The Conversation. You asked okay. for a tough question. I you asked got for a tough it. question, and I'm taking it all away here. So, A, Apocalypse Now, and E, The Conversation. We gave you a tough question, and you gave us the right answer. Yes! Yes! yes. Thank you! David. 
Your first round category is movie action heroes. How many points do you want to play for? Let's go for a 10, Maury. A 10 point question. Which of these films starred the soft-spoken martial arts action hero, hero Steven Seagal? A, Under Fire, B, Under Pressure, C, Under Siege, D, None of the Above. Seen the movie, Maury. C, Under Siege. And you're correct, and you have 10 points. <laughs> Benjamin. Famous Lovers, that's the next that. category. 10 points. 10 points. 10 points. I'm going for 21. Yeah. That would make it 21. Yes. Men in Black star Will Smith is married to which of the following actresses? A, Halle Berry. B, Jada, Jada Pinkett. C, Robin Givens. D, none of the above. Not wasting time, Maury, it's Jada Pinkett. You're correct, you have 21 points. However, I want to tell you something. He has, he has the capability to get to 21 as okay. well. I'm going to leave your booth open. Okay. You can hear everything. All right. David, you have 10 points. Here's the category, Famous Lovers. How many points do you want to play for? Famous Lovers. Well, let's go for, um, let's go for another 10, Maury. David. I want to tell you something. Even if you got that question right, it wouldn't be enough because your partner has 21 in two questions. I'm sorry, he wins the game. But it's been fun to have you with us. Thank you so Congrats much for playing. Your you just won 25,000, Benjamin. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. David, it's good to see you. You stand right here. I'm not Maybe I anywhere. should get the Kleenex back for you. you better. <laughs> Why don't you come right down right. here, David? I'm going to show you what your... There you go. Thank you very much, Mercedes. 10,000, 20,000, 5,000. That could be a lot of bars. That would be wonderful. Nice to see you, David. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Wow. Now, now, I know you're out here. You're oh, an actor. No. You're not from yes, here. Sir. No, I'm not. 25,000 goes a long way because out here, you can get actors easily. I've just paid off most of my car. My car is on, my car is being financed right now, and I can pay it off. Yes, you it's can. It's my car. It's your car now. Oh, my God. Here you go. And okay. there's a lot more where that came from. Right. Here's perfect 21. Six true false questions. Each question has a point value. First, each point's worth ten thousand okay. dollars. Stop at any time. If you continue to go on, make one miss. You may need more money for that car. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Astronomy. Do you know anything about it? We will go for it. Let's see what happens. Okay. For one point and ten thousand dollars. Orion is the name of a constellation. True or false? Oh, that's true. That is true. You have ten thousand dollars. Go. You're going. Go. Go. For two points and twenty thousand dollars. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. True or false? Can you say that one more time? A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. True. That is true. You have $30,000. It's different when you're down there because you always want to say go for it. Easy for you to say. Uh, go, go. He's going for it. Go. Three points, $30,000 more. That would give you $60,000. Okay. The sun is larger than all of the planets in our solar system put together. True. You've got $60,000. Yes. So far, we've awarded over $197,000. You could be our next winner. Here's your fourth internet sweepstakes game answer here on 21. Smokey.
Life happens to furniture. So what can you do? Simple. Pledge. Every time. You won't just get the dust with Pledge. You'll get the smudges, the greasy fingerprints, and protect wood, too. This is how you like it. And this is how it is. Where life goes on, Pledge goes on. F.C. Johnson, a family company. With Palm Olive Spring Sensation. Spring is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Botanical blend. So fresh. It's springtime every time you do dishes. Palm Olive Spring Sensation. Spring is in the air. Hi. We used to live here. <laughs> really? We're having a barbecue. Come on back. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Yes. Have a ballpark Frank. Okay. okay. <laughs> mm. We used to live here. Well, we're having a barbecue. Come on back. Hey! Have a ballpark. No, we couldn't. No. Some just can't resist the great taste of ballpark franks. They plump when you cook them. We have plumping. Let's hit it! You're watching 21 on NBC. NBC Tonight, the Golden Globe winning movie based on one of the most controversial court cases of the last century. Let's stop wasting our time and build the gallows to hang him from. Jack Lemmon, George C. Scott, in the movie USA Today calls powerful. Truth has meaning. Inherit the wind, NBC Tonight at 9, 8 central. Led by Latrell's free the Knicks close the gap on the Pacers. Now New York looks to even the score. Crucial game four, Monday, 5 Eastern, NBC. Sunday, June 11, join NBC4 as we celebrate a New York tradition. It's the National Puerto Rican Day Parade. See it live with your hosts Chuck Scarborough, Linda Vaccaro, and Audrey Puente. Revel in the sights and sounds of Puerto Rico. Highlighted by special appearances from Jerry Rivera, Jimmy Smits, Rosie Perez, Brenda K. Starr, and Felix Trinidad. It's the National Puerto Rican Day Parade. Live Sunday, June 11, starting at noon, only on NBC4. When it's very hot and humid, I use Gold Bond every day. Triple Action Gold Bond medicates, absorbs, and soothes. Gold Bond makes me feel very dry, cool, and refreshed. I would be lost without it. Triple Action Gold Bond. More than a powder, it's medication. Nothing compares to Gold Bond. I'm in the Hall of Fame, the Pain Relief Hall of Fame, and the star attraction, Flexol. Flexol has brought powerful, full-speed relief to thousands of athletes and millions of pain sufferers like us. Get Hall of Fame relief, Flexol, powerful, full-speed relief for tough pain. Have you heard about it? It's new brown sugar and oat total. And you haven't heard the half of it. 100% total nutrition, sure. But you haven't heard about the real brown sugar, crispy toasted oat flakes. That's the other half. You haven't heard about that? Oh, you will. 100% taste plus 100% total nutrition. It's brand new. Brown sugar and oat total. If you haven't heard about the taste of new brown sugar and oat total, you haven't heard the half of it. Op sale set sale in Puerto Rico. Report at 11. Welcome back, everybody, to NBC's 21. We're back with our champion, Benjamin. You have won $85,000. Right. He's about to play another game. So, John Kramer, who's his next challenge? We have two players left. One will be the next challenger. Is it Michelle Worley from Shawnee, Kansas, or Jennifer Bolger from Bellevue, Kentucky? The next challenger is Michelle Worley. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hi, how are you? Well, you've waited a long time. Yes, I have. Okay, here you go. Are you ready for this? Really ready. You know how to play the game? Sure. Why don't you shake hands with our current champion, Benjamin? Go to your respective soundproof studios, and we'll start to play 21. the object of the game is to get to 21 as fast as you can and as always we start with our challenger Michelle here's your first round category gangster movies how many points do you want to play for gangster movies I'm gonna go for a nine-point question Maury okay, here it is which of these actors played the title role of the 1997 gangster film Donnie Brasco a Leo DiCaprio B Woody Harrelson C, Johnny Depp, D, Skeet Ulrich. Well, I definitely know this. I thought it was C, Johnny Depp. And you're correct, and you have nine points. 
Benjamin, you're playing this game for $50,000. You know that. I know that. Okay. Okay. Here's your category, gangster movies. How many points do you want to play for? I still want to go for 21, but I'll try 10 first. 10. Here's your 10-point gangster movie question. Bugsy Malone, a musical spoof of gangster movies, starred a cast of kids, including what future Oscar winner? This uh, face looks like you know this answer. I know this answer. A, Tatum O'Neill. B, Helen Hunt. C, Jodie Foster. D, none of the above. And over the points, Maury, Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster, and you've got your 10 points. Michelle. Yes. You've got a good start. Here we go. Here's your next category, the 60s. You never saw them. No, I didn't. <laughs> but my dad did. He's my second chance, and I have confidence in him as well. How many points do you want to play for? Um, I'm going to go for another nine-point question. A nine-point question, that would give you 18. What radical organization was formed in 1966 by Huey Newton and Bobby Seale? A, SDS, B, Black Panthers, C, Weatherman, D, Congressional Black Caucus. Well, I, I'm going to have to call my second chance out. You are. And mm -hmm. that's your dad? Yes. Okay, what's his name? His name's John. John? We can have John out here. You know the risks involved. Mm -hmm. If you get the question right, we add those nine points to your score. If you get it wrong, you've got two strikes against you. I believe it was B, Black Panther. Well, Dad, you're the smartest guy I know, so I'm going to go with B, Black Panther. <laughs> And you had good trust in your father because you have <laughs> the nine points at the JT. Benjamin, here's your category, the 60s. I said 21. Let's go for 21, 11. Going for an 11-point question. Let's go for 21, Maury. Which two of the following things did not happen during the 1960s? A, first successful sex change. B, Pop-Tarts introduced. C, Bikini was created. D, Waterbeds hit the U.S. market. E, first U.S. discotheque opened. Um, I'm gonna go with D, the Waterbeds didn't hit the market in the 60s. And, oh, I hope it's B, Pop-Tarts introduced. Actually, it was the successful sex change oh, operation, man. and it was the bikini. A and are you C serious? are the correct answers. Oh, well. One strike. Oh, well. This is the end of the second round. It means our contestants have a chance to stop the game. I'm going to close your booth momentarily, let you think about it. And we would have a new champion. I'm going to open your booth now. Do either of you wish to stop the game? Maury, I'd like to stop the game. Michelle, you want to stop the game? <laughs> and you're our new champion. Oh, wow. Well, I, I must say, you were very aggressive. You played hard. And Michelle, congratulations to you. All right. I want to show you exactly what $85,000 looks like. I see what it yes. looks like. Well, so you, you can I've see. I've waited this long. I know you've waited a very long time. And this is $25,000, okay. $50,000, okay, $75,000, yes. Yes! And $85,000. Benjamin, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm glad you could come. Thank you all. And by the way, we'll be right back to play Perfect 21 right after this. For information on how you can be a contestant on 21, call our toll-free hotline at 1-888 for 21-8000. I am not an electrician. I am not a decorator. I am not a mover. I'm a home buyer. And I could use some help. Coldwell Banker has a time-saving service for home buyers and sellers. Coldwell Banker Concierge. Now found on coldwellbanker.com is designed to help you take care of the details of moving. I'm landscaper, I'm not a painter, and I'm going to be okay. Coldwellbanker.com. When you need an address, try ours. In the battle to prevent the gum disease gingivitis, floss goes a long way. Because floss removes plaque between teeth. But for many, that might not be enough. 
To kill the germs brushing and flossing may miss, use Listerine. Listerine is the one brand, the only brand, clinically proven to flow into the tiny spaces between teeth. To kill germs and help prevent the gum disease gingivitis. Stand up the gum disease. Get in here and fight. With Listerine, don't let a good mouth go bad. Hair color this great after 33 days? It's superior preference from L'Oreal. Now my color won't fade out. The breakthrough weekly conditioning treatment right in the box for soft, shiny, superior color. Superior preference from L'Oreal Paris. I'm worth it. To better protect your home from bugs, we got inside the mind of the bug. Yes, I'm in! Now where's the kitchen? It's snack time! Introducing Bear Advanced Home Pest Control. It kills bugs on contact. What's this? And because bugs keep coming, it keeps on working for up to six months. Turn back while you can! <coughs> Bear Advanced. Better thinking. Better results. Welcome to McDonald's. Oh, I'll have a crispy chicken extra value oh, yeah. meal. Yep. And it. I'll have a happy meal, please. Great, that's one crispy chicken extra value meal and one happy meal. <laughs> Dinosaurs are taking over McDonald's and they're taking over theaters in Walt Disney Pictures Dinosaur. Get one of four lifelike puppets or one of four posable dinos in every $1.99 hamburger happy meal. Don't forget your toys. Thanks. Thank you. Come again. Did somebody say McDonald's? Now on Mondays, start your week with a bonus Law and Order. NBC Mondays at 9, 8 Central, extra episodes of Law and Order. Order! Oh. This is outside the scope of your authority. Now, Law and Order twice a week. We'll hit them with everything we have. Every Wednesday, and now Mondays at 9, 8 Central on NBC. NBC has the summer hits right here. It's Must See TV Thursday with Friends, TV's number one comedy still coming at you. Third Rock Aliens invade Thursdays for the summer. We are going to kick... Whoa! Then the fighting Freudians of Frasier. The ability to strike and instantly retreat. So you kick them and then run away. Yes, yes. And just shoot me. Now on Thursday, where you can't spell danger without D. Finch. But I'm keeping it real with the Finchiness. Thursday, this summer on NBC. Need help raising your kids? There are experts out there who've dealt with the toughest kids on Earth. They're called your parents. So, give them a call. Tonight, Michelle, you're our current champion. Congratulations. Before we go, we want to make a correction in one of the questions during our Perfect 21 bonus round with Elaine. I asked her the question. The Miranda decision gives suspects the right to remain silent. She said it was false. The Miranda decision requires police officers to remind suspects that they have that right. So indeed, you were correct with your answer that means that you have another $30,000. $5,000. So congratulations to you. Benjamin, you won $85,000. Yes. That's great. $55,000, Mary. $25,000 to you, David. Congratulations to all of our winners. So join us next time right here when our contestants battle it out for the chance to win millions on NBC's 21. Good night, everybody. You now have all of today's Internet Sweepstakes answers. For one more answer, as well as complete rules and regulations and a list of previous Sweepstakes winners, log on to NBC.com slash 21. 21 lucky players will each win $500 and be contacted by a member of our staff for a chance to appear as a contestant right here on 21. You must be at least 18 years in the U.S. resident to participate. Olympic athletes never stop training. Do you want to go ahead of me? I'm not done yet. The Olympics from Australia, coming to NBC.
Awarded again and again for excellence in journalism, Dateline NBC is next. This is Dateline.